Hey there, welcome to No Recipe Required. Hope you're doing well. Tonight I'm going to do a, a steak for you. I've got some New York strips. I'm going to grill them up. I'm going to saute some mushrooms. This is going to be like a steak and mushroom dish. Um, I absolutely love mushrooms with steak. I just think they marry. They marry so well together. Um, you got to try it. You got to do it yourself. Let's go ahead. Uh, let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, for my mushrooms, I've got a few different types here, um, and really the preparation you can go with. Uh, you can go with essentially any of them. The important thing to matter, uh, the important thing to, to note, if you're doing different size mushrooms, you know this is going to cook at a different pace than this. So I do a couple things. One, I'll cut this up so it gets a little bit closer in size, and then um, the the bigger, the meatier mushrooms, I just start first and cook a little bit longer. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with our mushrooms for our steak. Now these mushrooms, they go awesome with almost any side. You can use essentially the same prep and uh, you can use almost any type. I'm just going to go ahead and lay mine. I've sliced them into, uh, into pieces that are, you know, roughly bite size or they're going to shrink down to bite size. And uh, I'm just going to saute them off at a good, you know, medium high temperature. Until they, um, until they become nice and kind of crusty on the outside and give up most of their water. Now with all mushrooms, you kind of got to watch the amount of oil. The mushrooms tend to like suck up oil pretty quickly. So you may have to add a little bit more to the pan. I'm going to add a little bit of salt. Like I said, turn my heat down to medium and just uh, let them get nice and brown. I like to start mine with the cut side down as well. Not super important, but um, I just find it a little bit easier. Let's uh, let's come back when we're ready to pull them or ready to turn them. All right, so my mushrooms have been going for about five minutes or so. And what you're looking for is that nice. I'll flip over another one. That nice, you know, kind of golden color on the um, on the side that's down on the pan. And if you feel it, be careful when you feel it because it's obviously hot. You want uh, a nice crispy texture to it. And this way we're going to get, you know, nice, beautiful, crispy outside, tender inside. What I'm going to do is just flip these over, let them go for just another minute or so, and then I'm actually going to add some shallot to the pan. And then we're going to um, deglaze with a little bit of sherry vinegar. After another five or so minutes, you'll see we got, um, you know, nice color on the other side. I'm going to add just a, um, a few rings or of thinly sliced shallot and this will uh, you know just give um, give the mushrooms a little bit of that you know oniony garlic garlicky flavor I'm going to toss that the heat is you know down pretty low right now because I don't really want to caramelize those onions I just want to soften them up a little bit and then once they are done uh, we're going to come back and like I said deglaze with just a little bit of sherry vinegar okay while well, our mushrooms are going for our steak and mushrooms. I'm going to um, cook off the steaks. Now, I happen to have New Yorks here. You can do it obviously with any uh, any cut you want. And the technique, pretty much the same. You want to get that pan smoking, smoking hot. You want to drop gingerly your steaks in there. Seasoned steaks, you want to make sure you get a good amount of salt and pepper on them. And then once you lay them in there, you know, we're not going to touch them. We're just going to let them sear on that side, get that nice crust on them. You know, these ones especially, they're super thin, right? So they're going to cook in probably a total of six minutes, I'm going to say. Maybe five to get a medium, medium rare. Um, and you really need that high temperature to get that good crust on it. I'm going to let this go. We'll come back when it's ready to, when we're ready to flip them over. Okay, like I said, these steaks don't take long to cook. I'm going to flip them over. Make sure we got that nice golden brown crust. And then, um, you know, if it was three minutes on that side, we'll probably do two minutes on this side. Then pull them off, let them rest for another three or four or five minutes, and then we'll be ready to serve them up. Okay, my steaks are done. They're where I want them. So I'm going to go ahead and pull them off the flame and just set them on a nice, um, you know, nice hot area on top of the stove to, um, to rest. We're going to take our pan, set it aside, and let's finish up our mushrooms. Okay, let's go ahead and finish up our mushrooms. I've got just a little bit of thyme here. I'm using dry, but if you had fresh thyme, that would be obviously great. I've got the, uh, the heat turned up as well, because I'm going to, uh, to want to deglaze this. So I want to get the pan good and hot, which it is certainly getting there. 
And then I'm going to do uh, kind of two splashes. One, first one is just a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. Just a few drops. And then the second is a little bit of sherry vinegar. Now you can certainly use um, balsamic vinegar. That would be awesome in here. But, um, you know, I kind of like the sherry because um, balsam balsamic vinegar, everybody knows, loves balsamic vinegar. Sherry, I find, gives it just a little bit of a, uh, you know, question mark um, and, and lets you appreciate, you know, just maybe a little bit of a different taste. Okay, once we have our steak rested, we, go, we take our mushrooms, lay some of those guys right on top, pile it nice and high. And then maybe um, throw a little garnish. This is just some chive. You can use parsley. You can leave it as is. I'll see you next time on No Recipe Required.